Hey everybody, Pinchy Al here, and we're back with another episode today on how to install a Chimera intake on your Honda ADV 150. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's garage. my uh, little mini series of uh, Honda ADV stuff you guys should already have a video to remove the seat and tub so we have full access here to the engine compartment so we can remove the intake but there's more than just removing the intake so we'll show you guys that in just a moment but you're gonna need to remove quite a few things um, the intake intake tube and the actual intake box <laughs> I just figured out that you need to remove the boxes. If you don't remove it, you cause some other fun damage. It's not permanent, it's just annoying. Uh, so, down here, you should have a little clamp here that holds the uh, intake pipe uh, to the throttle body right here. Um, we'll show you guys that in just a minute. I'm gonna bolt back in the factory one in right now so you guys can see what I mean. So the factory intake should be very close to this it's obviously still out of the box but it should snake into the actual intake box here uh, you'll see here there's a uh, Phillips screw right here at the top all you're gonna do is break that sucker loose counterclockwise and pretty much you're gonna wiggle it up and down and yank it out once you do that like that you gotta remove the air box with it all as one piece now the air box is kinda special uh, it's mounted through a part back here and a couple parts around the actual box itself. So what you're going to want to do is start removing the main screws off the air box. Now on the upside, this will pretty much drop a lot of the weight. This box with the factory filter and all that weighs a decent amount. So less weight, more speed, that's for dang sure. So it is beneficial to you going this route. Now there are two, a couple uh, eight millimeters that you have to take off down here um, because they block a couple screws uh, on the intake box. Let me get my extension here and my eight millimeter. off this little dress piece right here and it should expose one two more screws oh missed one more So you should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to take off the entire air box, uh, the cover. Um, there's an Allen bit right up top, right here, there's one. And then there's another one right here. There's a, I think that looks like a 10. And another 10 down below right here. There's one, two 10 millimeters plus the Allen on top 
to get rid of the uh, pretty much the the air box completely. There's one, two, and then you have an Allen wrench right above here. See how the box is already coming off. So there's a downside of doing this. And you can see this is horrible. This is not mounted nicely. So the next step is to figure out how to address this because I'm not a big fan of what this looks like right off the bat. Like I really just don't like the way this looks. Um, so I'm thinking about 3D printing a aesthetic piece that goes here to here and maybe a little brace that goes straight up here to give it a better a little aesthetically like just make it just pleasing because this just looks horrible honestly um, I mean the intake is definitely gonna benefit but as a whole this thing just looks bad honestly uh, the bolts that we removed don't affect anything in here at all so they're not needed to stay here so we're probably going to order some smaller bolts to fix this for our aesthetics. And again, we're probably going to make a little plastic cover here to here to fix this, uh, this look and a little tower, maybe a little triangle to fix the way this looks. Because again, I'm not a fan. And if you guys like something like that, I might be able to design something and uh, put, it up on, put it up on my online store and hook you guys up. If that's something you guys are interested in. So now you have this big old handful of screws and this ugly compartment now done. Again, we're gonna figure a design out here. But you see you have access now to the intake here. Uh, there's a breather portion here for the recirculation of the gases into the intake. So that's what you need next with your new Chimera intake. Mine's all busted, I'm gonna have to order another filter. Um, but this is it right here. So what we recommend is that you make sure the clamps and the, the uh, Phillips portions are facing up towards you. There's an attachment here with a barb fitting that we already installed here. And it's going to be fed right inside. Get you guys up close there. You guys can see that. Okay, see my hand. Okay, so again, make sure both clamps are in here, facing up. You're gonna slide this guy in here, slip it on. Comes a problem is the the lower the back clamp becomes kind of difficult because the way it likes to slip on. Um, try not to get it caught. I'll show you guys what I mean. So you want the back clamp to get down first, nice and snug. And 
and then the intake connects. Okay. Ah. And as you can see, intake goes in. Make sure it's not hitting anything on the top or bottom. Make sure it's clear of any debris. You'll see here's the barb fitting. Feeds right into this uh, breather tube that they provided. Just like that. Make sure it's pushed in as far as you can push it in. And it's underneath the, the, the throttle lines right here. So it doesn't pinch or bend on anything. This I jacked up. It's my fault. I should have taken the air box, but I thought I could leave the air box in here with this in here without damaging, and I'd end up damaging some stuff. So I just damaged primarily the, uh, the filter, which is not a big deal, but now I gotta get it replaced because it looks horrible. But yeah, that's where you want it to sit because once you sit on your bike, this push the top of this body goes down and end up sitting on this. So that was my fault. Once you have that installed, uh, type your tighten down your clamps, uh, the two clamps on the throttle body, and those you guys can see pretty much how I did it. You see, there's one a little bit further back, and then this one um, a little bit further up. And you want to make sure they're as straight as you can make them. And that's it. That's how you install your uh, your Chimera intake on your Honda ADV 150. Uh, next is we're gonna start. We're gonna do the variator and uh, clutch uh, install. So thanks for tuning in and uh, have a great day, guys. Peace out and have a wonderful day.